So I get asked a lot of fishing related questions, but lately the question I've gotten more than any other is how do I reference the buoys that are around the marsh that will tell me in real time what's going on in the areas that I like to fish. And I've got to tell you these buoys are so important. I literally look at them every single day whether I'm fishing or not because I figure if I'm not fishing, I got a fishing trip planned and I'd like to know what's going on in the marsh so I can be aware of areas that should be productive on the day that I do intend to go fishing. Now, not every area has a buoy really close by, but a lot of them do. And even the ones that don't have one just right next door, they've got one in the general vicinity. So you can kind of do a little bit of math and figure out what's going on in the area that you intend to fish. So this is gonna be a quick and easy video. I'm gonna show you how you can install those buoys on your phone so you have them even when you're out on the water and wanna know what's going on. All right, so I like to do the main work for this at home on my laptop. Some of you may wanna do it on your phone, that's fine, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on a laptop. So first thing you do is open the internet and type in waterdata.usgs.gov. It'll take you to this screen. All right, when you get here, you'll see an icon for maps of all sites with links to all available water data for individual sites. Click on that. It'll bring you to another page. You can see the big map showing all the different locations where they have these buoys. Kind of mind-boggling, really. Look over here <laughs> along the northeast coast. Boy, look at all those buoys. But anyway, so the best thing to do is to go here and search, search by state territory. Go to Louisiana. That's going to zoom in slowly on Louisiana and there you can see all of the buoys that are available. Now some of these are inland, they're on lakes, they're on rivers, uh, but we're interested in the ones on the coast. So we're going to zoom in to the coastal area and if you click on one of these it'll show you where specifically it's located. Like this one is Northeast Bay Gardine near Point Lahash, Louisiana. That's one I refer to a lot when I'm fishing the Delacro area. Now, I can tell you that this particular buoy normally has wind information, although that is kind of intermittent lately. And I noticed uh, the other day when I looked at it, it, it wasn't available. So it seems like the wind gauge goes out a lot on this particular buoy. But from there, what you do is click Access Data. That will take you to another screen. Now this isn't where you want to end up because this is just uh, a bunch of nonsense that doesn't really tell you a whole lot. But right here you can see current historical observations. You click on that and that's going to take you to the main screen that you want to see. Now here it shows you all the parameters available for this particular buoy. Temperature, water, wind speed, wind direction, gauge height, specific conditions at 25 degrees Celsius, salinity, and stream level. Some of that's more important than other data. Okay, so today we've just had a real hard cold front, so you can see the temperature really fell off, bottomed out around 53 degrees, and has climbed today as we've warmed up. Now, of course, it's going to get really cold tonight, so it's going to fall off again from there. Also, as I mentioned, that wind gauge is out. You can see normally you'd have wind parameters with an historical record here for the past seven days. That's uh, unfortunately not available at the moment. Gauge height, very, very important. I refer to this all the time. Uh, you can see the tide started falling right around midnight, fell till about noon, maybe 1 p.m., and it's just barely started to rise. And you can see it's a really significant range from one and a half feet all the way down to one foot. That's a two and a half foot range. So that water really, really rolled. Big tide range. And then specific conductance relates to how much electricity the water can carry. It's way, way, way over my head. There's a, a definite link between that and salinity. And as you can see, these two charts look very, very similar. So this tells you the water salinity, which right now is not very high at all, maybe around one part per thousand, uh, not very high salinity because it's been dumping out. You can see a few days ago when the water was higher, Salinity was almost 10 parts per thousand. Probably had an east wind pushing some of that salty water from the Gulf into Bay Gardine. All right, so that's it. So this is obviously a buoy that I follow. It's one I like. It relates to an area that I fish a lot. So what I did from here was just 
go back up to the actual URL, select it, and copy it, and then I email it to myself so that I can then have it on my phone. And I'll show you what to do from that point once you email it to yourself, how to add it to your phone. All right, so I sent the link to myself via email, so now it's available on my phone, and I'm gonna show you what to do once you get it on your phone. Joel's gonna give me a hand. Okay, I go to my email. Here's the email I sent myself. Just click on it to open the web page. Takes a minute for it to load, it always does. But once it does, I come down here to the share button. Now this is for an iPhone. I don't know about other types of phones, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Come down here, scroll over to add to home screen. Now it's gonna give you some crazy name up here. Actually, this one isn't too bad. Bay Garden near Point of Hatch, Louisiana. It's kind of long, I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna change it to Bay Guardian, Bay Guardian Bowie. And I click done. And there it is, shows up on my phone. So I click here, I got a hot link to the Bay Guardian Bowie. It literally could not be easier. And let me tell you, these will save you tons of time when you're out on the water. And not only that, you will definitely catch more fish. Pay attention to these buoys. They are worth their weight in gold. I can't tell you how important they are for my fishing success. I think they'll probably do the same for you. All right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure and share it. And also subscribe to the Marshman Mass Hunt channel on YouTube. And hit the notification bell so you know whenever we post. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, or right here in my kitchen, <laughs> we'll see you on Marshman Mass Hunt.